As everybody seems to be giving interesting accounts of their own, I'd like to begin with an anecdote of my own. In 1649, a countess in Romania was found with 300 chop chopped off body in her castle. She was bathing in the blood. I know it was gross, but these kind of mythologies are throughout the world and throughout the history of human has been in many cultures. And I came to wonder what the reason, what the roots of the original mythologies were. And I found out that porphyria, the disease, was at the heart of the matter. For, to, in today's speech, I'm going to sp sp speak in the order of number one. I'm going to tell you what porphyria is. Number two, I'm going to give you the, re the direct relationship between symptoms of porphyria and the mythologies of va vampires. And finally, I'm going to tell you how to cope with it in case you have it, because it's a genetic disease that you, you can only find after 30 or 40 years has passed. Uh, to begin with, I was going to explain this in medical and biological terms, but as you probably do not understand jargons, I'm going to simply show you what, how it works. The thing is, hemo malfunctioning of hemoglobins, the ones that carry oxygen throughout your body, causes your body to um, excrete an excessive amount of enzymes such as por porphyrins and precursor porphyrins, which make uh, your energy stored and utilizes which, uh, your energies in your body. This is essentially what causes porphyria and what, what makes you look like vampire. Uh, the second point is the symptoms and the relationship between vampire mythologies, legends, and the disease porphyria. Now I'm going to show you by number one, vampires have white, pale skin, right? As I explained, uh, hemoglobin malfunction is at the heart of this disease. So they do not have adequate amount of oxygen um, that's diffused throughout their body. They do not have adequate amount of energy, so their skins become white. About the canine teeth, that's exceptionally long. It's just that their mouth gum contracts, so it, their canine teeth looks long, but they're not really long. And they cannot be exposed to sunlight because when they are exposed to sunlight, their skin burns literally, and they grow bumps. And the, the, uh, the exposure to sunlight leaves scars on their skin. Thus, they cannot be exposed to sunlight as well. Finally, if you have porphyrias, the only way you can cope with it is by putting artificial injections in your body. You cannot fight this disease. There's no known, known complete cure. However, we could lessen the symptoms using panhamitin R, which is one of the most famous uh, artificial enzymes developed by mankind. To sum up my speech, I first, first of all, I introduce what uh, porphyria is and the process of the progress of disease. Number two, I explained how it's related to vampire mythologies and the legends. And finally, I showed you how you could cope, although you could really not cope with the disease. Uh, so next time you look at the movie or the book, Twilight or the New Moon, and say, oh, Edward is handsome. You gotta remember my speech. Remember the poor people who suffer from this disease. Thank you.